uh, I'd like to show you the continuation of this uh, video that we started showing uh, last week. That's, we watched the first 20 minutes last week. And that, well, this is that about the church in uh, churches or Christians in uh, North Europe, like Denmark and in Sweden and other countries around. And that, uh, you know, there are so many churches around there, but uh, uh, many churches uh, rather going uh, down, decline, and that Christians have, uh, don't have so much passion to go out for ministry. たくさん教会はあるんですけれど、とだんだん教会がついてしてきて、またこの伝道するっていう外に出て行って伝道するっていうこのことがなくなってきています。そしてその中のある方が本当にこのストギョーデンのと、を読んで本当にその最初の頃、ストギョーデンの頃に戻ろうというこのことを示されています。So, uh, one, of, one of their ministry uh, strongly be done is a uh, uh, healing ministry. And they go up and pray for people and the healing taking place. So their ministry is not only that, but we are still uh, have to continue watching. So today,
And at that time, I was so frustrated because I've been a Christian for like many years. But I've never healed sick. I've never cast out a demon. I've never led anybody to Christ. I've never experienced the life we read about in the first church, in the book of Acts. So one day, in frustration, I'm like, I give you everything. I want to see this life. And then I start to see this life more and more and more. But the problem was, in the beginning, there was nobody who could decide with me. There was nobody like Jesus did. When Jesus said, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Come and follow me, I will show you how to be the same, how to please the gospel. I will show you, train you in how you can be effective in the kingdom of God. Nobody did that. But what is different now is that now we are starting to decide the people. And if we take what we have learned and give it to the next generation of disciples, and they continue from there, and then take that and give it to the next generation of disciples. In very short time, we will have disciples walking around on earth, looking exactly like Jesus. Doing the same thing Jesus did, yet even greater things, because he went to the Father. I've prepared the best for you. Yes, I have prepared place of rest. I prepared the best for you. Yes, I have prepared a place of rest. And in that place, life in Christian about uh, 11 years ago, and I came into the Swedish state church uh, from a totally non-Christian background. And after a while, me and my wife, uh, we moved to, to uh, another city, and, and uh, we came into the, a very big church there. And we became leaders in a, a big, big uh, outreach work there. So we were leaders there, we were supposed to like, uh, be an example there also, but I have never led anybody to Christ. I have never, never baptized anybody myself. I have never seen anybody with my own eyes or prayed for anybody that could heal. I came to a point when, when uh, uh, it was one, one night we were out and there came a man to my table actually. And he, and he asked, yeah, uh, I see what you do. And I, actually, I want to become a Christian. How, how do I do it? And my reaction was, okay, I pick you up tomorrow and I bring you to church. So I did that and I brought, brought him to church and I brought him to the pastor. Pastor led to salvation, uh, but that made me react. I understood that something is wrong because I read the Bible a lot. You know, I went to Bible school for a couple of years. I know what the Bible said, but and I was the one supposed to do these things. You know, I was the one that's supposed to be, to he, uh, lay hands on the sick and recover. I was the one that was supposed to go out there baptizing people, and, and and I didn't do it. So something was wrong. I started to think maybe they're lying, maybe it's not true what people are telling me. Uh, so I started to, to uh, go out every morning I woke up and just pray to the Lord. And it was raining sometimes, you know, it was bad weather, but I just went out because I, I was really, really crying out to the Lord. I want to know you, I want to have it. I want to have a real life. And, uh, and one day when, when I was at work, uh, uh, I was reading a Christian newspaper. And there was like a, a small note there about a Danish man was in a shopping mall in Sweden, praying for sick people and they were healed. And I was like, what? And I, I read, saw this kind of articles before, but this just took my heart. And I felt that this is God. So I called him and, and uh, he answered. He was like, it was a normal man like me. And we spoke and I told him about my, my journey and he, he thought this is amazing. You know, and, and 
we should meet. So I gathered a couple of friends and we went down to him in, in Denmark. And then he asked us, why did you come to Denmark? And we said, yeah, we, we want to see if you get in. And then he said, like, okay, in about 15 minutes you want to see the first person get in. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not, uh, I could not believe this. It was, uh, how can this be a part of my life? And, but we went down the streets and we came to a gang of people, like, uh, maybe 25, 30 years old. So one of the girls there had, had, a, had a problem with her knee for many years. And he told me to lay my hands on her knee and just command the pain to go away. And I, I almost blacked out. I was so nervous. So, 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 and I had no faith either, I think. I said, yes, okay, I do it. So I did it. And she was like, jumped up. What? And she got healed. And, and, and the whole crowd was like, was, this, uh, this rocked my world. I, was, I just realized this is true, this is true. And this actually was enough for me. Uh, I, I prayed for one person, then I went by myself. We as Christians are called to make disciples. Another word we have started using is the word kickstart. It's like if you have a motorbike and you want to start the engine, you kickstart it. And when that motorbike is started, you can drive all over the place. In the same way, we as Christians need to get kickstarted in doing the things Jesus has called us to. When we, for example, kickstart a Christian in healing the sick, we take them out on the street, say, come and follow us, and then we show them how to do it. And when they have done it one time, they can do it again. You say you have pain all over your body, mostly your legs. Yeah, and we pray for it, you say it. Command all pain just leave right now. Be healed right now, the whole body. I command all pain just leave the body right now. The whole body right now. Let's pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, move. Try to move it. The legs are big. Try to feel it. It's good. Yeah, but do you, do you feel the pain now? <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. People get surprised. Command is back to the feet, open the door, right now. Tell the world this. Let's feel Not again. Yeah, yeah. I'm not making up. You can feel it. Just get went away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is growing all over the world. The last years, we have seen hundreds of thousands of people getting healed by normal believers who can keep started and start to go out in the city. And those people now start to lead other people to Christ. So the last years we have seen thousands of people coming to Christ and this is really powerful. I came to, to Stockholm and met and this brother, you know, and he was there with uh, with, uh, with a bunch of guys to my wife was dead, so you know, and then we went out to uh, the first of this person who had pain, he just placed his hand on this person, and, and this person got healed, you know, and I was just like, whoa, <laughs> this is just like amazing, you know, this person got healed, and, and I was like, now it's not been YouTube anymore, I'm not watching this on YouTube, but now I'm just like, I'm seeing it in front of me. It was just like amazing, just like seeing the reaction of this person you know, getting healed. And the next thing that happened was that uh, this this lady came in, you know, she was having pain in her stomach, you know. And and this uh, man that was studying me was just like, now that you're done to pray, he said, I want to place your hand and just command the pain to go. He said, as I just placed my hand, and I was hesitating, man, placed my hand and just like commanded, just like, in Jesus' name, pain go. And I just like, removed my hand and and suddenly, you know, you should have seen the face of this woman. She's like, how did you do that? Whoa, I've never been in such a thing before in my dream just like came true just right there, you know. So this is actually the, the best day of my life, you know, it's like being part of what I've been longing for for such a long time, you know. So on my way back home, you know, because I was so filled up with joy, you know. So I was sitting in the bus and just like going home. And when I just arrived, you know, uh, <laughs> I could not just like, 
like sit or just like go home. I, I just went over here in the city, you know, downtown, and I was praying for people at the very same day, you know, and I came across these girls that I prayed for, and they got healed instantly, I swear. I was like, wow. So this is not just like something that happened in Stockholm, which just stayed there, so it continues, you know. You know, ever since then, I, I was just like going out every day, every day I was out on the street, and seen thousands of people getting killed. I mean, it just like, it just changed me. It was just like changed the entire me, you know. It's, wow. Robin. Uh, yeah, there was a woman Mama. behind the counter and she asked, 
what we were doing here, where we were from. So we explained to her, uh, oh, we, we're going around, we're, we're praying. I'm actually from Houston, and we're with people from all over the place, and we're praying for people who have any kind of sickness or pain. Um, and she said, oh, really? So I told her about Danny, and she said, oh, my gosh, uh, I want to meet whoever this guy is. And I thought she meant Danny, the guy who got healed. But I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know where he is. I'm sorry. She said, well, you, what, whenever this guy comes back to pray, uh, you let me know. And I, in my mind, I thought, well, that was me. <laughs> She said, yeah, this ankle right here, and then she opened up, and she just, she kept letting me pray for her ankle, it got better, it got better, it got better. Before I know it, I turn around, and there's like four or five people that are going, oh, I have pain, oh, I have pain. Uh, can, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? How is it? What are you doing? 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 What are you So uh, after this, that uh, they will uh, talk to you more about repentance and baptism is very important. So this is all for today.